So you want the time loss proto trick. You want to be a cool guy like me. Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about getting it and probably some things uh, you've never even heard of when it comes to farming this dragon. All right. Now, it did take me 800 in-game hours to get the dragon, but that doesn't mean that it'll take you that long. OK, first thing we're going to go through uh, add ons. Really, there's only one that you need. It's called Silver Dragon. Rare Scanner is good too, but Silver Dragon has a farther radius, um, so it'll just notify you sooner, and it's a little bit more accurate. Now, first thing we're going to show you is spawn locations, which are going to be uh, these green skulls, right? That's, that's Silver Dragon. It even shows you the routes that the dragon will take. Now, um, this is the first spot right here. We just call it Frozen Lake because it is over a, that's right, Frozen Lake. Look, there's someone here. All right, this is spawn point number two. Uh, code name Oldwar because it's right across from Oldwar. It'll spawn or around here. It spawns midair. Um, so you really gotta, you really gotta be on it if you're camping here. He'll, they immediately, once it spawns, he's, he's spawning in flying and he's gonna head this way and wrap around Oldwar, okay? Don't don't listen to this. He doesn't cross this way. He goes he goes up and over. Okay, but he spawns right here on this little cliff, right right on the edge. So all right, over here at spawn point number three, codenamed village, because wow, it's over a village, and it spawns right here. Okay, it'll spawn right here, and it'll start flying this way. All right, it'll come right over here, and then wrap back around the mountain. And it just flies in a circle until someone kills it or it despawns. And then we have the fourth and final spawn point, Waterfall. Okay. This is another one of those tricky ones because he will spawn mid-air and immediately start flying this way. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably already pretty familiar with how the spawning works. There's two dragons that can spawn here. Time Loss Proto Drake and Viragosa. Viragosa has like a 92% chance of spawning at the zone, or at the spot that it spawns at, and uh, TLPD obviously a lot lower than that. So it is it is a rare spawn, a rare spawn of a rare spawn, pretty much. Now for classic, we don't really have any, uh, any confirmed spawn times. It's really just based off of what people have seen and um, just our own timing and so so the the main spawn times right now uh is 6 to 22 hours okay so that means whenever whenever viragosa or tilpd whoever is killed and then once the body despawns the timer starts for the next spawn so you have to wait six hours before trying to see if it'll spawn again right you have to wait six whole hours uh and then after that six hours you got till Again, 22 hours from when it despawned for it to, to, to be killed. Now, there is a little uh, weird bit of information that has been discovered over the years uh, as far as the classic spawn goes. You know, in retail, the spawn is like four to eight hours, right? A lot easier to, to catch this guy. Um, but it has been noticed that there's a 33% higher chance of a dragon spawning, not specifically TLPD, but a dragon spawn. 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after the winter grasp timer. Okay, so the winter grasp timer is 12, 3, 6, and 9. So, right, 11.30 to 12.30, you know, and then whatever. There's a 33% higher chance of a dragon spawning within those times. So, if you want to try to plan your camping to be around that time, that would be best. And I believe that with the Cataclysm release, they might have brought the times down or at least increased TLPD spawn rate. Um, the reason I say this is because uh, I saw it spawn twice in a row. The first time uh, it spawned and uh, I, I, miss, I missed the kill. It, it went to a mage. Um, and then I, I came back six hours later, waited a bit, and it spawned again. Same server, same layer. Uh, so... I don't know if I was just super lucky to see it back to back, but I, I it might be increased times. So again, we don't have anything confirmed. They don't tell you shit. You just kind of got to figure it out on your own. Uh, so the last good strategy, uh, if you if you want to do this, is to transfer a character to a dead server. Blood Cell Buccaneers is the only one you can transfer to right now, like the lowest the lowest pop that you could transfer to right now. 
uh, and wait right here where I'm standing. So this is kind of like central to to all the spawn points, right? So uh, if it spawns here, I'll see um, I'll get the notification from Silver Dragon. If I spawn here, I'll get the notification from Silver Dragon. If it spawns here at Village, it will fly right through here, right down here. That's its path. It'll come from Village, come around here, and then swoop and go back. And if it spawns from Old War, which in my case it did, uh, it'll fly all the way down and come right here through this, through uh, through the frozen lake. Okay. Now, even if, if you do this strategy, uh, you just want to make sure you know fly around to the spawn points and make sure that nobody's camping there already. Um, and if there is, just like every thirty minutes, I would uh, I would fly around just kind of in this circle here, like around. Here, down a village and back, just to see if it spawns while I was, you know, like if, if it spawns somewhere else, just just to make sure nobody else is camping, you know, and it's it's a better way. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's everything that you need to know about getting this dragon. Uh, it did take me 800 hours of in-game time of just sitting here waiting, but that doesn't mean it'll take that long for you, especially now with Cataclysm. I'm pretty sure I'm fairly confident that they increase the spawn rate. Because uh, it spawned back-to-back -back both times at Old War, which is crazy. So, so uh, good luck, buds.